Greetings, Internet world! What is happening? This is Endless Adventure Gaming, and today we are going to be talking about one of the biggest current gaming crazes, Pokemon Go, specifically the PvP that has just been released. It has been long overdue, uh, and that's, that's no exaggeration. It is seriously overdue, and it is finally out, and it is awesome! Now, Pokemon in general has been a seriously big topic in gaming lately with the release of the Let's Go games on the Switch, which I would love to try, but at this exact point, I am just not able to do so. One day, I will be able to. So, for the moment being, Pokemon Go is where my, most of my Pokemon gameplay currently occurs. That, and of course, the emulators where I'm currently playing Emerald, among other games. And I figured a short little video was in order to explain just how excited I am about PvP and some of the features that come along with it. Uh, so... Here we see a PvP battle actually taking place between one of the friends of my local Pokemon Go group, and it is pretty awesome. So, some of the animations as usual in Pokemon Go are kind of a little bit delayed, and then you see the trainers throwing out their, their chosen Pokemon. You can make a party with up to three Pokemon of your choice, and you battle in three different leagues. These leagues are the Ultra League, the Master League, and... Oh crap, I've forgotten. Essentially, they give you different uh, CP values to battle with, the Master League having no value, and the Ultra League having a 2,500 CP limit, and... Is it called the Basic League? The first league, anyway, is 1,500 CP. And once you've chosen your league, you enter the battle with Pokémon in those specific CP ranges, and this is what the gameplay looks like. It is really cool, and essentially, much like previous battling at gyms and raids, you are tapping the crap out of your screen, which charges up these uh, charged moves, which you then tap as fast as you can. And the faster you tap, the more damage it will do. Meanwhile, your opponent is given this option to choose a shield, if they should choose. You can use two shields in one game, so you have to kind of be strategic and choose exactly when you want to use them. Uh, it, it all depends, especially on your type matchup, how effective you're going to be, and whether or not you should decide to want to use your shield. So... Aside from that, you will notice a few new changes in the Pokemon Go UI options. For example, there is this. The Great League, the Ultra League, and the Master League. That's what they're called. And if you tap on your Pokemon inventory, you will see there's a new tab called Party that shows these different leagues and, of course, Raids and Gyms options where you can create your parties for these leagues and Gyms, Raids, options. And, of course, you can add three Pokemon to each party, depending on which league they fall into, is what you can choose. And here, when you tap on your nearbys, you will see another new tab that says Battle. It gives you the option to scan a nearby player's QR code in order to challenge them, or you can challenge any one of the team leaders. And apparently you can do this as many times as you want in a day, and it supposedly goes toward your long-since long since retired Ace Trainer badge, which is actually now uh, in use again. So for those who'd never completed it and it kind of sat there half completed for, what, a year and a half almost? You can actually, you can complete it now, uh, sort of. Of course, along with any game update comes lots of bugs, which I'm sure they might work out. This is an antic we're talking about, so, you know, they might work out some of them and then introduce 50 more. But it's always, you know, we, we, can, we can have fingers crossed here. I mean, PvP is out, which we always kind of wondered if it even would be, and it is awesome. So, you know... All bashing aside, Nantic does a pretty good job, for the most part, I'll give him that. Uh, so I do hope to see a lot more coming out of this feature. It looks it looks really awesome. It's really cool. Uh, the Discord group that I'm on in my small town here, we just spent the last couple hours battling back and forth amongst each other. Uh, of course, lag and connection issues are the usual, uh, as you would expect for Pokemon Go, but generally it is pretty awesome and a lot of fun. So... I will probably have my trainer code uh, on my Discord channel, which will be linked to the Facebook page and website for Endless Adventure Gaming, where you can add me and we can battle. Uh, one other thing to note is that to battle remotely, you must be uh, Ultra or Best Friends, which is not too big of a deal, really, because I have a lot of friends from two provinces over that I have had added for maybe about four months now, and we've already reached Best Friend or ultra friend and soon to reach best friend so remote battling is entirely a possibility uh, as far as opinions go there's a few little features that they could probably still do with adding to this such as a sort of chat based system that simply pops up a notification saying so and so is online because then you know when you can actually battle them 
and you know I suppose though most people are using discord so it's not really a needed feature but it would be kinda handy to see that another feature that comes to mind might be the uh, the the items and things that you get could be using some tidy ups I noticed it didn't tell me that my bag was full until after I don't know two hours worth of battling and then it suddenly went oh you can't collect any items your bag is full and I'm thinking I didn't receive any items for the last few battles so apparently you're a little late on that but that's not so much a feature as a, just a bug I, uh, at this point so yeah that is a short little video explaining the PvP that is now in Pokemon Go and I figured this is a great new opportunity to get some content out there so you know that's that's uh, part of this so yeah thank you for watching this short little video and if you'd like to show your support by liking the channel uh, the video and subscribing to the channel that would be most appreciated I am trying every day here to try and get a little more uh, uniqueness in my content and get things out there it's it's not always easy but I'm working on it and with that I have a fundraiser going over on the Endless Adventure Facebook page where you can donate if you'd like to show your support that way to help me upgrade my hardware and software and of course pay for my tuition as I'm currently taking uh, online courses in video game developing which are going really good and I'll be starting to post some updates and maybe making a couple of short videos explaining my process and what I'm working on with some projects so you can follow the uh, Endless Adventure Gaming Twitter handle or like the Endless Adventure Gaming Facebook page to stay updated on all of these things and lots more. Again, thank you very much for watching. That is it for now.